Hello, and welcome to another Excel demo with Rich Kerr. In this scenario, I'd like to use data validation to control the values of dates that are entered in column A. And uh, let's say that our rule is that we only want uh, dates from the current year, so nothing prior to January 1st of 2013, and uh, nothing beyond the end of the current month. So that's going to be the rule that we want to set up. So in that it's March, we would like to allow a date that goes up to 331 but nothing beyond that and then uh, once April rolls around we'd like to be able to put in the last month the last day in April so we'll select a range of cells and uh, click on data validation so on the settings tab where it says allow any value we'll choose date and we'll use the between operator since we're trying to create a date range uh, although there are other operators you could use, such as not between, or greater than, or equal to, less than, etc. But we'll leave it on between, which is the default. So I'll set my start date for my range as 1-1-2013. And for the end date, I have to use a formula, because I want to have that adjust as time goes on, and that date be whatever the last day is of the current month. So we will do equals... Uh, and we'll use the EO month function. So EO month uh, will generate the end of the month, provided you give it a, a date to use as a reference point. So since I want to find out the end of the month, the date that is the end of the current month, or based on the current date, we'll put the today function inside my EO month function. So EO month will find out what the end of the month is using that as a reference point, the current date, and then comma you can specify how many months away from that date you'd like to count. So since I want it to be the current month, that parameter would be zero. So in other words, find out the end of the month that is the month zero months away from the current date. Uh, and so it's pretty flexible. I mean, you could go one month out, two months out, but we'll keep it with the current uh, month using the today function and not extending it beyond that date. And that's it. I'll do an input message. Uh, uh, enter a date. And my message might say current year. Uh, nothing beyond end of this month. Dot, dot, dot. And then my error alert is where we can create a custom error message. So we'll say I'll use the warning style. And for the warning style, I'll say uh, bad date. Current year only. Nothing beyond uh, end of the month, please. And so that's my custom error message. So while I've got those cells selected, I'm going to turn on the short date format. And so there's my input message. So if I put in, say, 215, that works out just great. If I try to go back to December 19th of last year, there's my error message that violates the rule that I set up. Uh, because I chose the less strict style uh, warning and not the stop style, I have the option to override, which I'm going to do so I can show you another function. So I'll say yes, uh, and uh, if I try to do, say, March 31st, that works out just fine because that is the end of the current month. But if I try to do April 2nd, uh, that violates the rule and if I chose no then I can go back and say oh really it should have been March 2nd etc now let's say I do decide to override the error and say yes I'm going to put in a few values that don't meet the criteria so I choose yes there so after the fact if I'd like to audit which cells don't meet the validation criteria I can go back to my data tab and use the data validation drop down and choose circle invalid data and that will then draw red circles around the cells that don't meet their validation criteria so I can use it not only as a preventative measure on the front end but as a way to audit data uh, after the fact so that's how you can create a date range uh, data validation using the end of the month as one of your parameters and uh, this is how you can audit the data afterwards the circles around the invalid cells will go away once you save so they are volatile functions, so uh, you may have to 
turn them back on, if you want to see them again, you know, continue to see them, you can always go back to data validation and choose circle invalid data. That's it. Please tune in again soon for more Excel videos. Have a great day.